Well, y'all, another gloomy day in Northern California, especially if you're a Niners fan. <sighs> hey, yo, what it do, Niner Empire YouTube, Packer fan, Cheesehead Nations? It's your boy. Well, it's under two minutes left. The score is um, 36, uh, excuse me, 34 to 16. It's pretty much over, so um, shout out to any Packer fans out there. You got my boy. Um, the Chief, got Sergeant Johnny, and a lot of you other guys out there. Um, shout out to you guys. Um, I know you guys uh, had a little tough time um, getting it going early, but um, we we could Niners couldn't take advantage. So and we we kept you guys around, and once you guys got your rhythm going, in, that was pretty much it for us. So um, so yeah, props to you guys. Um, now am I am I upset about the game? You know, yeah, I'm upset that we lost, but I'm not really too disappointed. I mean, it's been that kind of year for the 49ers to where I'm pretty much in the acceptance stage right now of the way the season's gone. We're 4-8 and eight now, and <laughs> I mean, depending on, um, you know, what happens with the, the Seahawks and the and the Rams or whatever later on, you know, depends on, you know, whether we'll still be one game or two games out. But regardless, as sad as this sounds, we're still going to be in it. But it's tough. It's really tough. And, um, you know, early uh, we was doing some of the things that I said we needed to do to win the game. Uh, Troy Smith was making a couple plays with his arm. Um, Vernon Davis had a great game. I think he had, uh, I believe, four catches for 126 yards. And the defense was getting in Aaron Rodgers' face, where I think they sacked him a couple times. And those were the two keys right there that I thought were crucial for the 49ers in order to win this game. Now, the problem is where um, when the defense was making plays in the first quarter, you know, the offense could have capitalized, especially when um, – we could have made it ten nothing, and we I believe we got to the Packer uh, one two yard line, and um, and Troy Smith just took an ill advised sack because um, I know um, our rookie guard Mike Aipati, uh missed a blocking assignment, but uh, Troy Smith probably should have threw that ball away, and he didn't, and got sacked at the ten yard line. And we had to settle for a field goal. So instead of being up six nothing, uh, excuse me, instead of being up ten nothing, we're up six nothing. And right there, I was like, okay, now we're on the road. We're up six nothing. Defense is playing good, but I knew eventually that the Packers were gonna um, just basically just start warming up, and that's what happened. So there you have it, right there. So cheers to the Packers. Still messing with that Hummer Brown Hemp Owl. But, um, yeah. Uh, this, basically, that's pretty much all I got, really. Um, we're 4-8, and eight, and like I said, technically we're mathematically still alive, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm pretty much not going to, you know, start with that crap or whatever, because, um... It's just basically one game at a time. So, got a game coming up next Sunday, home game, um, division rival. Um, it's going to be week B, Kate week, Seattle Seahawks. Um, and I guess we'll just take it from there. So, I mean, I mean we, we had our chances today, but we couldn't take advantage of the opportunities. Um... Jeff Reed, I think, was kind of heckling Jekyll, our kicker. I mean, he, he made all his field goals. He made all three field goals that he kicked. But I had to cringe every time that he made a kickoff because, I mean, his kickoffs were barely reaching, um, excuse me, were barely reaching the Packers' 15-yard line. And I just thought that they were getting too good a field, uh, field position or whatever, so... I mean, I, I thought field position hurt us, um, that the Packers were able to work with a short field a lot of the times because, 
you know, we couldn't get any touchbacks on the kickoffs, and and they, they had some pretty decent returns. So, all in all, basically, the Niners fought hard. They gave it their all. They didn't quit. But, you know, in, in the end, once again, and um, Packers are just too much. So, uh, yeah, that that's pretty much it for me. So, um, yeah, Packer fans, cheers, uh, Niner Empire. And I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm, I, I'm just forced to take it one game at a time. I'm pretty much, you know, I'm in the acceptance stage right now. So, you know, these are the cards we were dealt with, and we just have to live with it. So, you know, next, nothing to do but next week, just get ready for Seattle and um, just hope things fall in our favor today. You know, the Seahawks, I think, got um, the Panthers and uh, the Rams got the Cardinals. So, Cardinals are having a tough time right now, and Carolina's only win was against us of all teams. So, uh, but regardless, uh, the Niners, they're going to have to start finding a way to at least taking care of their own business. Um, they fought hard, but, you know, too little, too late, and, it, and again, it's not enough. And, I mean, one of these days, we're just going to have to find a way you know, to overcome our road woes and beat teams outside of the NFC West on the road. And we still haven't, you know, learned that. And Troy Smith, and I'm definitely not putting it on him. He did what he could. He's still going through a learning process. Um, but he still made a couple plays. And I feel that once he starts getting it, then... You know, I, I think he'll start being a much better player, which I'm I'm hoping, I mean, whatever the Niners do in a draft, I know everybody's talking about Andrew, drafting a quarterback like Andrew Luck, but in the least, I still hope we hang on to Troy Smith, at least, because, um, you know, I, I think he might have something in him. He just needs a little work, and he he still has yet to play to start, you know, a full season. So he still has a learning curve and everything, but I think that once he gets it, then, you know, watch out. Is he going to be the Niners' future? I don't know that. But, you know, at the least, it would be nice to hang on to somebody, you know, that has a little bit of skills like I feel Troy Smith has. So, uh, but anyways, that's for the off season to come. So I'm really done with it this time. Again, uh, props to the Packers. Um, Niner Empire, keep your heads up. And this is just our season. So, all right, y'all. Give it to y'all next time. Late.